Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to create this advanced Elementor animated and reusable wavy background widget for Elementor using a free Elementor add-on. Amazing thing is that this animated background widget will work with both free and paid versions of the Elementor without any issue, as well as it is also highly responsive. Another thing is that this Elementor animated background widget is a reusable widget, which means that you can add and customize the same background widget in more than one section with different colors and settings. Furthermore, you can easily change and customize the color and appearance of the wave's color and height as well as the gradient color from the left side of the Elementor editor. You can add this background widget anywhere on your website such as header, footer, and hero sections. Now without any further ado, let's get started. To create the same animated background widget shown during the video intro, you will be required to install two plugins, the first one is Unlimited Elements, and the second one is Elementor. To install the required plugins, first, go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the Plugins tab, and then click on Add New. Now just type Unlimited Elements in the Plugin Search field. Here you will get a small plugin with the same name by Unlimited Elements. Just install and activate this plugin. Similarly, install and activate the Elementor plugin too. To create the Elementor animated background, just scroll down to the bottom side of the WordPress dashboard then hover over the Unlimited Elements tab, and then click on the Background Widgets option. Now here by default, you will get dozens of free and pro background widgets, you can install any widget as you like, but for now, we will be creating a new animated background widget from scratch using the Background Widget Creator feature of this plugin. Now let's first create a new category for our widget. To do so, just click on this plus button, then type the category name, and then click on this button. To add a new background widget, just navigate to the newly created category, then click on the Add Background Widget button. Now here, just type the background widget title, name, description, and then click on this button. Here you can see, our newly created widget has appeared, but currently, this background widget is not a functional widget because we have not added any code to this widget. In order to create the same type of Elementor background widget as shown in the video introduction, we will be requiring a code block of HTML as well as a few blocks of custom CSS. By the way, if you don't know anything about HTML and CSS, then don't worry, you can download the required code after scanning this QR code or after directly visiting the link shown here, and then follow along with me. Now to edit the widget, just click on these three dots, and then click on the Edit in New tab option. Now here in the General tab, you can edit the widget title, name, description, icon, etc. Let me set an icon for our widget. To set an icon, just click on this button. Then search and insert a relevant icon for your widget. Now switch to the HTML tab. Then delete the default text from this field. And then paste copied Elementor background widget HTML code from the downloaded file. Now switch to the CSS tab. And then paste the copied Elementor background widget CSS from the widget CSS file. Now we have pretty much done with everything except the setting creation part. Now, if you add this background widget into any Elementor section, then the widget will work perfectly but you will not get any setting option for changing background properties such as colors and gradients. In fact, let me show you the same thing after adding this background widget into our demo website's hero section. To test this widget, first, update the changes and then edit the same page where you want to add this widget with the Elementor editor into a new tab. Now to add this animated wave background, first, select the whole section with the help of the Elementor navigator tool, 
then click on the Style tab, and then click on the Unlimited Background option. Now select the same background widget from this drop-down option. Here our text and button color is not matching with the background color, so let me adjust the colors very quickly. Now here if you want to change the gradient colors, waves heights, etc, then you will not be able to change it because we don't have any background setting options until now. In order to create dynamic setting options, we need to create an attribute for every single setting option. Now, before creating any attribute, let's see how many dynamic settings are required for this background widget. To do so, let me switch to the widget editing page. Here in the CSS code, we have a background property with a gradient angle, two gradient RGBA colors, and two gradient location parameters. Now here, this plugin has the ability to create a single background attribute for all the above mentioned parameters, but unfortunately, you will not get this option in the free version of the Unlimited Elements plugins. If you upgrade to the pro version, then you will get several other advanced features including this feature in the pro version of the plugin. For now, we are using the free version of the Unlimited Elements plugin, so we need to create a separate attribute for every single parameter of this background property. By the way, if you considered purchasing a pro version of the Elementor or Unlimited Elements plugins, then please consider purchasing via my affiliate link given in the description, in this way, you will help me to keep running this channel without costing you any additional money. Now here, we need to create three more attributes for the wave's height, minimum height, and maximum height. Now switch to the HTML tab. Here we need to create four more color attributes for wave's colors. To create the required attribute, just switch to the attributes tab. Now click on add attribute button, then select the attribute type from this drop-down. For now, we will be selecting the number because we are creating the setting for the gradient angle of our background widget. Now, type the title, name, then give the default value for the setting, and then select the suffix from this drop-down. For now, let's select none. Now here, enter the minimum and maximum angle values, let me enter 0 and 360 degrees because this is an angle value. In the end, just click on Add Attribute button. Now, let me create all the remaining attributes for our widget settings. But before that if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Here I'm just fast forwarding the video so that you will not get bored. Now we have created all the required attributes for Elementor background widget settings. In the end, just update the changes. Let me add the relevant attribute shortcodes to our widget code. Without adding attribute shortcodes our settings will not work. To do so, first switch to the CSS tab. Now here you can see, our newly created attribute shortcodes have appeared here on the right side. Here we need to replace the relevant CSS code parameters with the relevant attribute shortcodes. To replace the relevant CSS code parameters with the relevant attribute shortcode, first, select the same part of the CSS code, and then click on the relevant attribute on the right side just like this. Now here is one thing you need to remember, 
Don't replace the suffix from your CSS code parameter if you are not added the same suffix to your attribute during attribute creation. For example, here in the gradient angle value, I am not replacing the degree suffix with the attribute shortcode because I have not added anything as a suffix during the time of angle attribute creation. Similarly, add all the remaining attribute shortcodes to your CSS code. Now we have added all the required attribute shortcodes to our Waves background widget CSS code. Let me add the last four remaining Waves color attribute shortcodes to our widget HTML code. To do so, switch to the HTML tab. Now here, select the RGBA color code in the HTML code, and then click on the relevant attribute shortcodes. Similarly, Replace all Waves RGBA color codes with the relevant attribute shortcodes. Now we have pretty much done with the attribute addition part. One thing still remains to do, that is to make our widget a reusable widget. Currently, if we add our background widget in more than one section, then the setting of the first section background will affect the properties of the remaining background widgets, in another word. We can't set two different colors and settings in the two different sections background. To make our widget reusable, we need to add this default dynamic ID element attribute shortcode into our HTML and CSS code. Now let me add the ID with the same element to our HTML code. Now let's add the same ID element into our CSS code. To do so, switch to the CSS tab. Now place the text cursor just before the dot of the class selector without any space. Then type hash. And click on this default dynamic ID element attribute. Similarly, add the same ID selector on the remaining places as I'm adding. In the end, just update the changes. Now we have finished our widget creation, let me test if our background widget settings are working or not. Now first refresh the page. Now select the section, and then click on the unlimited background option under the style tab. Here you can see, our widget settings have appeared here. In fact, let me show you the background customization. From this option, you can change the angle of the gradient. With the help of these two color pickers, you can change the colors of the gradient. Now here with the help of these two options, you can change the locations of the colors. Now here with the help of these four color picker options, you can change the color and opacity of the waves. Now down here, from these three options, you can change the waves height, minimum height, and maximum height for the waves.
Furthermore, these three properties settings have responsive options. In another word, you set the three different values for the desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. In fact, let's do the responsiveness settings of our Elementor background widget for different devices. Now here you can see, our widget is looking perfect on all devices. Hey! If you are with me until now then I have a gift for you. You don't need to do anything manually to create this widget, you just need to download the compressed widget file from this link. Then install the Elementor and Unlimited Elements plugins. Now go to the Background Widgets option of the Unlimited Elements, then import the compressed background widget file directly without extracting. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates, and make sure to check out the end screen video. Guys, how about our video pace, is it slow or fast, or else good? Let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.